So, thank you for joining me once again. Today I'm on the BMW 2020 model S1000RR. Yes, 2020, it's not 2019. Uh, I'm not sure why, to be honest, but uh, that's the model year designation. The previous model was around for about 10 years and uh, over the years they honed it and uh, improved it but BMW decided this time round they would start afresh and this bike is pretty much completely and utterly brand new it's got a new frame new suspension, new brakes a new aluminium swing arm it's basically entirely new so I'm going to start with how it feels I mean yeah it's a super bike there's no two ways about it it's utterly a super bike but the way you're sat my knees aren't uncomfortable and it kind of forces you to grip with your knees it's just the natural position it puts you in so there's not that much weight on my wrists it's really surprising um, so it's fairly comfortable we're in dynamic mode at the moment which uh, basically alters the suspension based on what kind of road surface you're on so talking of suspension it has got a few modes you've got road, rain, dynamic, race and if you get the M Sport version you get race pro 1, 2 and 3 and in those modes you can fiddle with things like uh, engine acceleration, engine braking, wheelie control, ABS, all sorts of settings that you can manually change just to how you like the bike to behave. Um, but I'm in dynamic now as I said and actually it's surprisingly it's not harsh I mean it's tight and it's taut when you need it to be but it's also soaking up the bumps really well it's not it's not painful to ride so let's talk about that engine it's a 999cc liquid cooled inline four making 207 brake horsepower at 13 and a half thousand rpm and it makes 113 newton meters of torque <laughs> sorry this is just so much fun Oh my god! Wow, that accelerated! <laughs> There's something else! Yeah, it's got BMW's shift cam technology which just adjusts the valve timing and lift just to give it more torque throughout the rev range. And speaking of torque, it makes a minimum of 100 Newton meters from 5,500 RPM all the way to 13,500 RPM. That's just insane! That is some wizardry that those German engineers have done. Display, it's got a 6.5 inch TFT display which is just beautiful so we're now in sport display mode as you can see there I'm sorry I'm not getting many words out but this bike is just absolutely bonkers the brakes which are no longer Brembo's are absolutely stunning they have so much bite and power to them Come here briefly and just give you a quick walk around. Seat height is fairly high on this one. So with the M pack you get an M seat, you get an M battery, you get this lovely paint scheme. Just do a quick walk around. It's a stunning bike. Please don't hit her. Let's listen to the sound. <laughs> Not much going on there, but there's a stock can. I'm sure they'll bring out some uh, Akropovich systems. So there's the uh, BMW brakes. It's an all-new engine. It's four kilos lighter than the previous model, and it's a lot narrower because they wanted to make this bike really handle well. Weight, it's 197 kilos if you buy the stock one, but this one is uh, shaved three and a half kilos off that, so it's 193 and a half carbon wheels they shave 1.7 kilograms off the total weight of the bike so that your uh, rotating mass is just a lot less 
but yeah, what a stunning machine. Absolutely beautiful. LED lights all round. You've got indicators integrated into the uh, wing mirrors. And at the back, just have a quick look. These are your brake lights and indicators as well. So if I can show you. As you can see, they are brake lights and indicators. And also this comes off super easy, just if you want to take it on track. There's the uh, standard BMW kind of cluster. You've got dynamic traction control. You've got dynamic damping control, riding modes, wheelie control, slide control, ABS. You can disengage for the track if you want. This thing is an absolute weapon on track. I'm sure you've seen videos of it being ridden on track. The quick shifter and blipper, or the shift assist pro as they call it, absolutely stunningly smooth. And you actually get a nice little crackle from that exhaust on the, when you come off the throttle. What a machine. As I said, 207 horsepower at 13 and a half thousand RPM. This bike redlines at 14,600 RPM. It's just insane. <laughs> it's definitely got power! Oh. Slow down for this junction. What a bike. The power delivery is... It's indescribable, it's just... It just... I can't even... I'm, right, I'm literally speechless. This bike is absolutely incredible. The seat's quite hard. First negative. Okay, there's two negatives. The exhaust note is awful and the seat's hard. That's about all the negatives I can come up with. Everything else is absolutely insanely awesome. My goodness. Right, let's get some uh, shots. This is the most powerful bike I've ever ridden. Uh, it's actually got around about 196 horsepower at the back wheel because there's been some uh, dynos done. So let's have a look at the dash. Very nice. And uh, you've got a few options. You can stick it in sport mode if you want. Sport dash there. Or we can go back to the normal, traditional. Uh, let's have a look. So the modes are rain, road, dynamic, and also race. Now this one's got three race modes, race pro, modes one to three. And in those modes you can uh, adjust things like engine throttle response, engine braking, wheelie control, slide control, your suspension obviously, ABS which you can disengage. So you can tailor it pretty much to how you want it to behave, whether you want it to be a road bike or whether you want it to be a all out race machine. The seat height at the moment is fairly high up. I know there are three different seat heights you can have hers into life um, one of them is 814 which I think is what I'd need because this is I'm on tippy toes <laughs> uh, throttle response is quite sensitive in oh I'm in race <laughs> I'm going to change that to dynamic ah there you go that softened the uh, throttle response off a bit so in race mode it definitely seems to uh, make everything a lot more aggressive so I'm going to try and ride it a bit sensibly just to see if you can That quick shifter is so, it's so sharp, but it's not like jerky, it's just snappy, it's lovely. I'm trying to compose my thoughts, so this video might be all over the place and I do apologise, but what a machine I'm riding. I don't want to go mad, too mad. <laughs> so the road I'm coming up to is quite a nice twisty technical road, but I just want to see how she handles on those sorts of corners and the road leading up to this one here is actually really bumpy and on my bike it's you certainly feel it a lot more than I'm feeling it on this which is odd because I'm on a super bike it should be bone jarringly harsh shouldn't it but it's not oh my <laughs> front wheel came up then so the stock version of this bike without the M sports pack or whatever you want to call it it's around about 15,000 and then there's a sport edition 
which I think is around 16, 7, 17. And this one's basically just shy of 20,000. But you get all the toys. You get all the race modes, shift assist pro. You get those carbon wheels, which save nearly two kilos. And other weight saving components, bring it down 3.5 kilos from the stock bike. Power output is exactly the same, but uh, you get the nice paint job as well. Oh, it just corners like it's on rails. It's just ridiculous. The back brake isn't great, but it's, uh, it's a new bike. We can forgive it a few things. Maybe after a little while it'll bed in So this is a tight twisty road so actually on slower stuff it does get a little bit uncomfortable my lower, my lower back is just starting to ache a little bit and, but there still isn't that much in terms of weight on my wrists it's not terrible what an impressive bike just what those German engineers have done. Would I buy one? I have to admit, that it's severely tempting. But I think, performance-wise, it's just so much power. You're in ridiculous speeds before you even know what's happening. And riding it slowly just isn't that much fun. Yes, it is way more comfortable than the predecessor, It's still a super bike. It just has so much usable torque. With those cam changes, it's got so much usable torque. It's bizarre. It's bonkers. <laughs> I mean, this bike is better than I'll ever be, obviously. Absolutely stunning machine. An absolute technological marvel. Those Germans have really done it. Front wheel's coming up again. And again. Yeah, it's a bike that wants to be ridden hard and seems to be happiest when it's being ridden hard. So, as an everyday bike, I would question its practicality, but you could do it, definitely. If you really wanted to, you could do it. So I'm trying to, I'll try and sum this up, but. Right, engine, absolute powerhouse, pulls like a train. So much torque from around about 5,000 revs. Suspension in dynamic mode, it's just ridiculously comfy. It's tight without being uncomfortable. It's so composed in bends. Brakes are just, oh, ridiculous. You brake hard on this thing, you stop. Your organs just keep moving forward. This bike is just mad! It's surprising how quickly this bike goes without feeling like it's going that quick, if you know what I mean. You look down and you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> All right, I better, I better slow it down a bit. So I'm gonna head back to the, uh, the shop now. It's just started to rain. Gravel. Dan likes his gravel, doesn't he? Oh my god, look at this. Why have you done this, Dan? Why have you done this to yourself? 200 horsepower bike and you're going in the gravel. Alright, let's take her back.
It's farming season, isn't it? So these things are around everywhere. Just got to be patient, though. They got a job to do. I'm not going to hate on them. Wow. I know, I, I keep just saying wow and making noises, but honestly, test ride one of these, you'll, you'll do the same thing. And when you're doing like 60, 70, it's actually quite comfortable. It's only when you're doing town stuff that it feels a little bit out of its comfort zone. Yeah, handling just sublime. Totally, totally sublime. It just goes where you point it. It's so precise. It's like a scalpel being held by a pit bull that has a degree in astrophysics. It's just so sharp, uh, yet brutal, but you just want more out of it. I want one. Get that seat height fixed and I would have one. I don't care that it's a little bit uncomfortable in town. <laughs> I don't care about that at all. Because it just it's just worth it. That thrill, that adrenaline rush is just so addictive. Oh my god. I'm just gonna rest for a second. <laughs> Guys, this is a test ride video. This is not a review, so I've done as best as I can while riding a brand new superbike. Thank you for watching guys, hopefully I can get this bike out again for a bit more time and do a proper review of it, but uh, what a machine, get one, go and get a test ride on one. Guys, thank you for watching again, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and also my Instagram because you'll see a lot more behind the scenes stuff on Instagram, but thank you once again. I'm done. I'm spent. See you next time. Peace.